Welcome back to River Funsies. And on this video today, we're going to talk about river treasure. The different things that you might find in the San Marcos River if you slap on a pair of goggles and uh, start snorkeling around to see what, what's down there. By and large, what you're going to see is a lot of sunglasses, a lot of goggles, uh, along with beer cans and bottles and that kind of stuff, but plenty of good uh, sunglasses that fall off people's faces uh, that are still in good shape and uh, very reusable. So you certainly want to keep an eye out because there's, I found uh, Ray-Bans that are worth a couple hundred dollars uh, in perfect condition. Electronics, just because they're wet doesn't mean they don't work. So uh, plenty of those. Strange things like gardener equipment, um, toe rings, uh, little cheap rings like these, uh, you know, just slip off people's hands or fingers when they're in the in the water. Uh, valuable rings. This is a, a silver ring I found, and it is uh, it's worth a few dollars. Uh, but also uh, necklaces and this kind of stuff get pulled off your uh, body pretty easily if you're in a very uh, swift current. A lot of uh, a lot of knives. Plenty of knives. This one has been down there for a long time, so it's a little corroded. Uh, but also cell phones. And cell phones, I, I try to return the cell phones to the owners if I can. And uh, yeah, there's certain ways to do that. And I'll show you in a different video how to identify the owner of a cell phone, even if it's ruined, and uh, be able to get it back to them. And, you know, uh, if I do get your phone back to you, all I ask is uh, that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. But people in the past have, uh, you know, given me rewards uh, up to $100 for returning the phone to them. And I, I certainly appreciate that. Other things you'll find are clothes, lanyards, cigarette lighters, um, bottles, uh, and cans. And also these electric bikes you see around town. People seem to think it's funny to toss them in the river. Um, you know, that's that's just vandalism. That's not somebody losing their stuff on the river. That's just uh, straight-up vandalism. So I don't know what the damage to the environment would be if, if something like this stayed in the water for a long time, but if you see it, pull it out. Rio Vista Park in San Marcos is a great place to find stuff, but also lose stuff. There's three tube shoots, and the first one's uh, pretty violent. Here it is, uh, looking upstream. Um, it's a great place to fall out of your inner tube, uh, get your canoe flipped over. Even swimming around here, if you try to swim across that current, you're going to get flipped around. you probably lose any kind of equipment you have on your flippers, goggles. Here's some participants in the Texas Water Safari. And you know, these guys normally know... Uh, the river pretty well, and you'd expect them to, uh, you know, be able to negotiate these kind of uh, situations. But even somebody with a lot of skill can have problems. And in the past few years, I've seen people uh, have their water safari end right here in Rio Vista. Their canoe gets damaged or gets jammed in the rocks, and it's all over. They have to uh, quit. So. When a canoe flips over, all the stuff inside gets pushed out, and then you have to spin, uh, and hope, hopefully try to get lucky and uh, get your stuff back, or have people help you uh, get your stuff back if you're you know, just a recreational canoeer. A lot of sharp objects, bottles, cans, please, if you see these in the water, get them out. I don't want a small child to cut themselves on these items. Deer antlers, what the hell, I mean, you know, I'm never, I never cease to be amazed as to what I find in the river and found some deer antlers. My friend did. Here is a picture of some things we found after uh, jumping in the river on um, Labor Day weekend. Uh, several cell phones still in the dry cases. Plenty of sunglasses, clothes, unopened beers, a vaporizer, uh, just all kind of stuff. Money, fishing line. Uh, it's amazing the kind of things you'll find. And uh, a lot of the stuff is uh, still good. If you aren't able to find the owner, you can make use of it. Uh, and I'm going to show you in another video as to, you know, what you can do with those things. Found a kayak in the river. 
That's an easy one to repurpose and reuse. Uh, but the sunglasses, I make sure to give them to all my friends if they're not too scuffed up or not too uh, disgusting with the, if they haven't been in the water too long, they have algae all over them. And how we got our start was finding a GoPro in the river. And that allowed us to start taking videos underwater. And um, I have found several other GoPros since then. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be having some more videos about uh, how to identify phone owners and other river-related topics. Have a good one.